Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at another transition pack for DaVinci Resolve and this one is called our visual transition pack. So this pack is actually quite different from Messiah transition pack. So let's see how to use this transition pack inside our project. What's up DaVinci Resolve users? Introducing Camera Move Transition Pack. Available now at our store. So I've already set up a test project. So let's just bring in these transitions inside this project. For that you just have to click on the bottom right corner on this project manager icon. Once this window opens up, right click and click on store project archive. And then just browse for the location where you have extracted this file in my case. It's in the downloads folder, store our visuals. I'm going to double click on this folder as well. And once you reach this folder structure where you see the documents and the media files, you, just, you don't have to click on any folder, just click on open. And now it's going to take 10 to 20 seconds to load up these transitions inside the project manager. And here you can see the thumbnail, just double click on that. And I'm going to save this project. I'll click on save. So now it's going to open up the transition project where we will have all the transitions. If it's not visible, make sure you click on the media pool to see all the transitions. And here you can see we have the CM data folder. It contains all the audio assets and the previews. So you don't have to mess around with that folder. And then we have transitions for every frame rate. So um, you have 25, 24, 30, only the 50 and 59.940 is not ready. So they are working on these two projects as well. One thing I noticed is that you cannot install these transitions like we can inside Messiah transition pack. Since these are compound clips, you cannot install them inside the power bin. So if I drag one inside a power bin, it's going to end up in this error saying that multicam and compound clips and fusion clips cannot be added into a power bin. However, there is a method to install these transitions. So if we drag one to the timeline and right click on it and click on decompose in place. And here we have our adjustment layer right click and click on link clips to unlink all these clips and now we can just select the adjustment layer and drag it onto our power bin and that is how you can install these transitions inside a power bin but as you can see there are quite a few transitions so it's this process is going to take some time so what we can do is we can use the uh, dynamic project switching feature in DaVinci Resolve to move our transitions from one project to another so I'm going to move this project, this transition project into my test project. So to do that, you just have to click on the master at the top and you have to copy this transition. So I'm going to hit the shortcut keyboard, control C to copy it. And then we have to enable the dynamic project switching. So I'm going to go to the project manager, click on that and this window will appear. Right click on it and click on dynamic project switching. And now once you do that, you can just double click on your project that you want the transitions in. So I'm going to click on that. And now click in the master section and hit control V. And this will paste the transitions inside your project. So we can go inside the project, just zoom in. And our project, if we click in the on this cog icon in the bottom right corner, click on that. And as you can see, our frame rate, timeline frame rate is 25 FPS. So I have to find the 25 FPS folder, which is right over here. Double click on that. And now you can just browse. You can just scrub through the timeline and see the preview of these transitions. The one that I want is zoom transition. I'm going to scroll down and find it, which is right over here. Drag it onto the timeline. And here we have our transition. But we want this transition to happen. I'm going to turn off the audio because it's disturbing me. So I'm going to note it. So as you can see, we have the transition, but still the preview over there. So what you can do is right click on the clip and click on decompose in place. And now you can just select the one at the top, hit backspace on your keyboard and it will get rid of it. And now you can just 
we have the marker over here which says cut here you just have to place it at the junction so if you just drag it and it'll automatically line up with the clips where the cut is and if you try to play this animation or the transition it's, it's not going to play smoothly as you can see it's going to lag a lot uh, but what what you can do is if you want to preview it you can just cut the clips using the blade tool cut it just like that and just select these four clips right click and click on new compound clip I'm gonna call this transition and click on create and then I need to right click on this clip go to render cache fusion output and click on on and then you have to go to playback render cache and make sure that render cache is set to user and once you do that you will see this uh, line appearing at the top of your clip it will be red and then once it turns to blue that means you are ready to play your animation and if you play this you will see that it will play smoothly I'm going to undo this and I'm going to show you how to further customize the animation so if you select the adjustment clip and then go to fusion you'll see you have the zoom in A1 if you go back and select the second adjustment layer go to fusion and this is zoom in B so we're going to change few settings inside the clips so let's see how to customize this select the clip go to fusion tab I'm going to edit zoom in A1 select this node and if it's not visible make sure your inspector tab is enabled and here you can see let's just go to the I guess the end of this animation and you can see the motion blur you can turn motion blur on and off you can control the quality of motion blur so higher the quality more time it is going to take to render out this animation so just set that to 10 you can play with the shutter angle Let's just leave that to 180. Prism position is uh, basically the. Um, let's just turn off motion blur to see it properly. So, prism position is actually the RGB split that you're seeing in the preview right now. So, you can, if you don't want it, you can just turn it off by dragging this slider to 1. It will get rid of it. So, just set it back to 0 and you can play with the prism position and the pivot position as well i tried to use the this crosshair to move the transition to a different position but it crashed a result so i recommend you not to use this crosshair just use these sliders in the inspector tab to change the position of your zoom transition so we can put it right over here and just make sure you match the pivot position with the prism position as well so I'm going to drag this as well and try to match it like that and that's it that's how you can change the zoom target animation and you have to do the same thing with the second adjustment layer as well so go to fusion zoom in B and we have the same controls over here so you, you get the idea of how to customize these transitions right and then what I want to show you is how to control the duration of the transition so in order to do that you just select your adjustment layer go to fusion and see all the you can click on the spline and now let's just make some room over here I'm gonna click on this checkbox zoom in 1b and I'm going to then click on this icon it says zoom to fit and I'm going to select all these splines and once you select them you can just click on the time stretch icon click on that and now you can decide the length of the animation so you can just if you want it to be quick you can just move it you can move these two handles closer to each other if you want it to be slow you can just drag it out as well so to download these transitions you just follow the link in the description and add the product into your cart and the cool thing is that uh, you can use the coupon code motion epic to get 15 percent off on this transition pack so click on have a promo code and type in motion epic and click on add and it will give you a 15 percent discount so you have to be quick because this is only for first 30 users 
So that wraps up this tutorial. If this video is helpful, do consider liking this video and also subscribing to the channel and see you guys in the next one.